On September 8, 2017, the Pacific coast of Mexico was hit by an 8.2 magnitude earthquake, which left 69 people dead and 1,700 people homeless. At that moment, I feel a little bit sad, not only for the magnitude of the damage in the coast of Mexico, but also because of the poor coverage of the news about this earthquake in the Netherlands news system. This earthquake was not even trend topic in social media because what, what was in everybody's lips was the damage of uh, the Hurricane Irma in St. Martin's Island and also the floodings in Texas. Unfortunately, yesterday, on the afternoon of 19 September, Mexico was hit once again by not one but two simultaneous earthquakes that originated in the states of Puebla and Morelos. The footage of the earthquake in Mexico is really shocking. To the handful of people that follow my channels, I would like to ask you for help, not only for the people living in Mexico City, but also for the people who live in the provinces of Morelos, Puebla, states of Mexico, Oaxaca and Chiapas. The earthquake left more than 200 people dead and thousands of people wounded and homeless. I hope, I really, really wish that you can see how organized and how helpful the Mexican people can be. Thousands of civilians are helping Mexican authorities to rescue hundreds and hundreds of people draped in the debris of the most of the 14 buildings that collapses only in Mexico City. One of the stories that broke my heart was the story about the Repsaman Elementary School. The building of this school could not stand the tremor and it actually collapsed. Despite the intense um, rescue effort, 32 children and five adults were found dead inside this building. However, there is still hope. The children trapped in this building are uh, using social media to communicate to their relatives that they are still alive. A couple of minutes ago, actually Fatima um, managed to communicate with the relatives and she say, I am okay, I am trapped here with other five children and we are thirsty. As I told you before, the Mexican people are really helpful, but they need means to work it out. They need tools, they need gloves, they need masks, goggles, shovels and spikes. But what Mexico really, really needs is continuity because the rescue labor will last many, many days and the total magnitude of the damage is, is still uncertain. Donations can be addressed to the Mexican Red Cross, which provides medical aid and gives shelter to homeless people. Another Mexican organization you can address is the Topos, which literally means the malls. The malls is an extraordinary organization of civilians that are very well trained uh, to help people in cases like this. Both of these organizations receive international help through PayPal. Recently, Google opened a system to make donations. You can simply Google Central Mexican Earthquake and then you can donate 5, 20 or 50 euros. I will at least to these two organizations in Mexico here in the comments and in the description of this video and I will answer any of the, of the questions you have about this tragedy and how to help people in Mexico, but also how to help animals, because they are also in need. Soy Mexicano, and the people of my beloved Mexico need your help. Many small contributions can make a big difference. Our love to all the people who is striving after the tragedy in Mexico, um, our most sincere admiration to all the people who is helping the brothers and sisters in need. We are so proud of you. To the people watching this video, thank you for watching and we hope that you can help Mexico. Que viva Mexico. Que viva.